Hey guys, welcome back to Just Pillin' Barbecue. Uh, today I'm cooking some uh, supper for us. It's gonna be real simple. I'm just gonna do some burgers. Uh, Justin's at football practice. Brandy's waiting on him, and uh, I figured I'd cook supper for us, have it ready when they got home. Uh, but I'm just gonna keep it nice and simple today. So if you're looking for something to do uh, on the afternoon, it's very simple, pretty quick, uh, very little ingredients, and you want a good burger, then go ahead and give this a try. Um, all we're gonna use today is some 80-20 ground chuck. No Wagyu, no uh, fancy meat. This is just 80-20 ground chuck. We've got some grated Parmesan cheese we're gonna go in with. Uh, we've got some steak sauce. This is a no-name brand Heinz 57 sauce. So if you really wanna use, you know, the name brand stuff, this is Heinz 57 off-brand steak sauce. American cheese slices, that's what we're using. Um, and that's it. I may use some steak seasoning on, on top or something. If I do, I'll show you that. Um, I'm just gonna throw these on the smoker out there at 250 degrees and just cook them until they're done. All right, now we're gonna put these burgers together. Now, what I normally do in the pan that I'm putting the burgers on is I usually put some kind of rub in the bottom of the pan before I put the burgers on it. That way it keeps the burgers from sticking to the pan and then it seasons the bottom side uh, already. And today I'm just gonna go with some uh, steak rub from Emeralds. It's Emerald brand steak rub. I bought this for some steaks the other night, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Just cover the pan that you're gonna put your burgers on with the rub. And then when you put your burgers down on the pan, that side of your burger is already seasoned um, and it doesn't stick to the pan when you go to pull it off. Now, for the steak sauce, again, Heinz 57. This is off-brand Heinz 57. This is three pounds of ground chuck. Um, and usually I go in with just about the whole bottle and then I usually start uh, working it together, take my rings off, start working it together and kind of just go by feel and then put in Parmesan cheese, I don't know, about that much. This is really just kind of, you're going by feel here. Just go ahead and start squishing everything together. Get everything incorporated. Get the ground beef off the bottom. And it's really gonna be a little bit loose, to be honest with you. but you want to get all of the steak sauce incorporated in with the meat, all the Parmesan cheese incorporated in with the meat. So as long as you're mixing it up and you still start to see some ground beef that hasn't been mixed well yet, just keep mixing until it's all incorporated. But to be honest with you, this feels pretty good and I've used all but about an inch, I guess, left in the bottom down there and you can save that to put on the top of the burgers when you get them done. So this feels pretty good. So now we're just going to start forming the burgers and put them on the pan. Now these, I usually make these pretty good size. Again, this was three pounds of ground beef. So we'll see how many burgers we get out of it. And that's usually how I pat them out. About that size. Go on the pan. Do one more. That feels a little bit light. Don't want anybody to get cheated. And again, this is a quick recipe. Not a whole lot of ingredients, but it makes a good burger. It really does. About that size. I thought that felt a little light, and it was. Make up for it on this one. That one feels good. Good. 
six and a small one. All right, now again, you don't have to put any seasoning on them if you don't want to, but I already put the steak rub on the bottom, so I'm gonna put the steak rub on top as well. And now, because I've already seasoned the bottom, by putting it on the pan, I can go straight in on the grill without having to worry about seasoning the other side. It's got a lot of garlic and herbs, stuff like that in it, and it ought to be good. So now we just go on the grill.